It's okay, baby. It's all right. If anybody tries anything with you, it's all right. And oh, I mean, it's all right. What's up guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about John Wick. With John Wick Chapter 3 just around the corner, what better time is there to talk about the first two? So John Wick was directed by Chad Skahelski and stars Keanu Reeves, Michael Nitfisk, and Alfie Allen. Ex-hitman John Wick comes out of retirement to take down the gangsters that killed his dog and took everything from him. And after seeing that, I was so happy to see what John Wick had in store. Start off with the positives. This story had such emotional depths to it. This whole thing started with the death of a puppy. Now, I want you to wipe your heads around that. A puppy, a little eight-week-old puppy, Beagle, I believe it was, dies in the hands of these criminals, these idiots, these thugs, right in front of this man. So, after you wrap your head around that, wouldn't you want to take revenge? To me, that's like on, on the level of killing a child. The reason why I'm getting so emotional about this is because I'm a dog owner. I would feel the exact same way if I was in this man's position. I would go all out. Well, not really, but figuratively. <laughs> but seriously though, I have two dogs. They're wonderful. They show you unconditional love. And when I seen that scene, I was saying to myself, something tells me that y'all just made the biggest mistake of y'all's pathetic lives. And they did. The action in it was crazy. It was suspenseful. You had plenty of shoot em ups. There wasn't that much explosions. Not that big. This film was made for a relatively small budget, but it was perfect. If you like revenge type stories, this is the film for you. People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. It was eloquent, straightforward, never a dull moment. It held nothing back. Quick, who's played by Keanu Reeves, who also starred in another favorite film franchise of mine, The Matrix, plays this ex-hitman who has lost his wife in her will she sends him this little eight-week-old puppy, uh, Beagle, I believe it was. So cute. And they developed this report at the beginning of this in the first act. And it really made you care what happens to this puppy. Daisy. Of course. It's kind of a tearjerker, I guess you could say, depending on who you are. Some of y'all could probably handle it better than others. I can handle it, but it really gets to me because, as I've stated, I'm a dog owner. I love dogs. But this man holds nothing back. You do not want to cross him. Since these gangsters did what they did to him, he goes off all on a rage revenge. He's a man of focus, as one of the bad guys actually does point out. Just don't do my to mean your motion to stive us to great. The Magu could. Vigo will kill me. Uh-huh. Keanu Reeves did 90% of his stunt work. Yeah, speaking of that, the director of this film was actually Keanu Reeves' stunt double in the Matrix films. Chad Stahelski, he actually did lots of the stunt work for the Matrix movies for Keanu Reeves. A little known trivia for you there. Alfie Allen played the guy that started it all. He plays a guy named Iosef Tarosov. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. He plays the one that kills the dog. He brought such a menacing performance to that character. Though he wasn't in it much, you really believe what kind of prick this guy is. Because right off the bat, or as soon as he shows up, you can tell. He's bad news. Michael Nickfist plays Vigo, the father of Iosef. He was actually great in this film. He actually did a lot better than he did in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. In that film, he wasn't that strong of a villain. He didn't show up that much. But in this, he actually played a decent villain. And he actually played a guy with common sense. 
Because even after he found out what his son did, even he knew that wasn't such a good idea, what his son did. It's not what you did, son, that angers me so. It's who you did it to. Who? The fucking nobody? That fucking nobody. It's John Boy. He did a really good job in this film. May he rest in peace. We also get Willem Dafoe, who played the Green Goblin in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man back in 2002. He was a nice addition to this. Chad Stahelski's direction was really good. It was straight to the point. It was very uniquely done. This is one of those stories that I think could be like the most original out there. There has been revenge type stories before, but nothing of this magnitude. Plus it gave Keanu Reeves a chance to get back in the spotlight. After his Matrix films, Keanu Reeves kind of disappeared. He was doing passionate stuff, but very low key stuff. Stuff you probably wouldn't hear about. So in this film, I'm happy to say that I think that gave Keanu Reeves star power back. Jonathan Silla's cinematography and lighting was very well done. It was very stylistic. It had that gothic feel. It was darkish. It had a very stylistic look to it. I thought it was done really well. Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richards' score was done really well. I mentioned this in one of my reviews before, but for each movie, you have to have that score that symbolizes what the story is about. And I thought they executed that pretty well. I have no negatives to say about this. I know I gave a good rating to my last review as well, but I'm just being honest. I found no negatives with this. It was well paced. The characters was a delight. As much as you hate them, they were there for a reason. And it was just pure fun, pure action based fun. So, of course, I'm giving John Wick an A+. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. What did you think of John Wick? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know what you think down below. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon. My review for John Wick Chapter 2 should be up soon. Just in time for John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. Thanks again for watching this video. And if you like this, you can click right here and get reputized.